This should be quite a handy video for those of you that want to export your camera animations out from Maya. This video will specifically look at how to bake camera animations when you have your camera in some sort of rig hierarchy. I will even be sharing with you a single click solution which automates the whole process for you. And then after that, I'll show you the long manual method to do the same thing. Firstly, why bake animations? Likely when in a rig, the camera object itself has no animated transforms. That's because the animation is stored on these control objects, one for the translation and the other is holding the rotation keys. Basically, we need to compile these keys from the multiple controllers to give us a clean single set of transforms on the camera so we can export. If we were to export the camera in its current state, we'd have no animation curves. For example, if we go ahead and break the group hierarchy, you can see how the camera just remains completely still. So let's begin. Select the camera object you would like to bake, head over to the tool, I have it here up on my shelf, and then simply run the script. If I select the new camera in the outliner named baked, you can see we have a camera with all the baked attributes ready for export. It really doesn't get much quicker than that. And when we slide the timeline, you can see it's perfectly matching and overlapping the rigged camera. A quick side note though, to preserve the rigged camera and the original connected nodes, it is also duplicating any upstream nodes as well. So you might end up with some extra bits in your outliner. For example, here I have an extra focus controller, which I can go ahead and just delete. And of course the original is still there and properly connected to the original camera. This is more so as a precaution, so nothing is getting broken or baked from our original setup. But as always, it's probably worth keeping regular saves of your projects. You can grab yourself the tool by becoming a Patreon member and you will also gain access to perks like the members only chat on our Discord for a more one-on-one -on -one helpline with me, plus a bunch of bonus downloads and content. It is also available on Gumroad if you prefer to pick it up there. Cool, so now for the manual method. You're going to want to work on a consistent frame, so I recommend just choosing the first one in your timeline. Let's make a locator, so head up to create, locator. Okay, so it's rather small, I'm just going to go ahead and increase the size. Make sure to do this on the local scale on the shape node, so it's purely visual. We now need to parent this to the camera. Switch in to animation here, or you can just hit F4. We can go ahead and select the camera first, the parent, and the locator second, which is the child. Head up to constrain, parent, and just open the options. The default should do fine, and just ensure maintain offset is not selected. Hit add. Now our locator is following the movement of the camera. So now let's go ahead and bake this onto the locator. Select the locator and head up to key, bake simulation, open the options and default should do just fine, hit bake. Once that's finished, we can now go ahead and delete the parent constraint, which is just here under the locator. And now you can see it's following the camera even without being parented as it has all the transforms baked. So now we want to get the camera out of the rig. Select the camera and hit shift P. As expected, it should be static if we go ahead and move the timeline. Next, selecting the locator first, it will be the parent. Then select the camera second and head to constrain, parent. This time, checking on, maintain offset. Once done, the camera should be moving as a child of the locator. We just need to bake this down. So to do so, select the camera, head to key, bake simulation, just with the default settings as before. Nice. So we can now go ahead and clear up our scene and our camera remains fully animated with all the attributes ready for exporting as an FBX, an Alembic or whatever you require. This can be a little confusing, repetitive and tedious if you're going to be doing this often. So I hope you like this video. I've really tried to include as much information as possible, as well as providing a method which takes all the pain and tedious time out of doing such a task. If you got any value from this video, why not check out some of my others, share this with your friends and come chat with me over on the Discord server. Thanks for watching. If you feel inclined, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.